You can turn Cloud Code into a scraping powerhouse. All you have to do is just give it access to one MCP server, and you can do things like extracting entire websites, creating screenshots of that website, taking all the branding, the fonts, the colors, the look and feel, and even pulling structured data for research, all just using natural language. If you don't believe me, let me show you. Now, there are tons of methods and MCP servers and tools you can use for scraping. I just happen to use Firecrawl, and you'll see it in a bunch of my videos in the past. And the reason for that is all you have to do is give it a simple input, which is typically a URL or a bulk set of URLs, and you can choose what kind of data you want back. So if I go to my agency website, promptadvisors.com, and I take this and we paste it in here, we can just click on Start Scraping, and you'll see on the next screen, you have tons of options you can focus on. Yes, you can just scrape the website as is, but this isn't new. But what you can do is you can click on things like branding, for example, click on start scraping. And then while this goes through the URL, it'll come back not just with the scrape of the website, but also all the information about the fonts, the colors, all the look and feel elements that make my prompt advisors website actually native to me. So just as a small example, you could see this is the branding. This is my logo, my assets, my landing page all the primary colors, fonts, and typography. And this is just one small sliver of what you can do. Now my goal is to bring this power into Claude Code so you can just say something like, go and search these following websites, go and grab the branding from this one, go and grab screenshots from the bottom and the top of the page of XYZ website. So if you go to the docs and you go to the MCP server section, on the right hand side, you can see right here, there's different sections for running in Cloud Code as well as NADN and other platforms. So if I click on Cloud Code right here, all you have to do is copy paste this command as is, and you're gonna want to swap this with your API key. You can get this API key by just signing in. They have a pretty generous free tier of 500 requests. So if you go into the dashboard, you'll see at the right hand side right here, this is your API key. I'm going to just take this and attach it to that request and I'll send it over in Cloud Code. So all you have to do is just enter that command as is with your API key and then within seconds it should say done and then it won't show up or actually function within this same chat or session. You have to re-spin up a brand new session. So you'll see right here it says Firecrawl is there so it exists but its status failed. But if I open a brand new session and do slash MCP load it up. Now we can see that this is functional. So what I'll do is just to show you that it does work, I'll do shift tab and I'll go into YOLO mode and I'll say something like, can you tell me all the tools we have access to with the Firecrawl MCP? Maybe give me some use cases as to what I can use each tool for. So we'll send this over and we'll get back something like this that says we have Firecrawl scrape, which is good for scraping content from different URLs, parsing PDF documents even, Firecrawl map, Firecrawl search, which is what we just used a few minutes ago. And then the crawl function, which can go on multiple portions and sub pages of the same website. Crawl status, extract, which uses LLM capabilities to extract content on a particular page. So you can search for different components or elements of said page. And this is the quick guide. Now, in order to be able to create a Claude.md file, we'll make this into an asset in the code base. Since right now it's empty, so Claude.md won't really do anything for us. So I'll say, Okay, great. Can you put a full understanding of all the different functionalities of this MCP server into a file that we call Firecrawl MCP Server Guide? Dot markdown. So then this will be sent, and then we'll be able to send it over and double check from there exactly how to move forward. And now that the guide is set up, we can click on this right here. You can see it's pretty comprehensive and going through. There's a table of contents, and it breaks down every single parameter that Claude should be aware of. And once I type in slash in it, it will initialize a brand new Claude MD file, which won't be as detailed, but it will have the TLDR cheat sheet of exactly how to use this resource. Now that we have this set up, I'll go through a mental model of how to use this API just as a quick cheat sheet so that we can open a brand new session and experiment with just using natural language, like I promised, to do things like take screenshots, extract content, and even more importantly, extract the look and feel and design of a particular website. So while there's some sub functionality that we can use, it's good to use this as your core cheat sheet. So you can scrape, screenshot, extract, crawl, search, and map. In terms of what to scrape, you could do a client brand audit where you can scrape an entire website and see 
is the copywriting up to snuff when it comes to the brand strategy and the tone of voice. If you're a designer or a web developer, then the screenshot functionality might be handy to create portfolio documents where it screenshots your entire web page as one continuous document. You can use the extract functionality to go on any website that has tons of listings. That could be e-commerce, it could be a job platform, it could be Indeed, what have you. And then crawling as well as searching can both be used for research and competitor analysis and map is really important to look at the site map of an entire website. So if there are multiple components and many subdomains, it's a really good way to be able to look at the entire topography of a particular domain. So theory aside, let's actually put this to the test. So all I'm going to do is go on YOLO mode. I'll go on shift tab, 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 and then we'll take the URL of my agency website and we'll just send a natural language command. So I'll say the following. Use the Firecrawl MCP server to do the following on this particular website. And I'll just paste this in and I'll just paste the URL and I'll go back. So I want to be able to extract all the branding of this website as well as take screenshots of the entire website from top to bottom so I can see it in one unified image. And then I also want to scrape and understand what this company does. And I want to possibly crawl and see what other web pages there are as well. Maybe screenshot those and put all of these together in one folder that are neatly put together. So we could send this over, right? And then paste it and we'll see what it comes back with. So you can see it's invoking the MCP multiple times, in this case to scrape. You can even take a little bit of a peek. So this is the website. These are the parameters. It's using the functionality type screenshot. And then if we close this up, you can see all the links from the map. So this is the map function. It's mapping out the services, the about us, everything involved, pretty straightforward. And then you can see it's already setting up this folder on the left hand side. And while this is running, it's important to note that you can use this on the free tier, the hobby, the starter, and your only changes are the number of requests that you can send, as well as the number of concurrent requests, which in plain English means how many different calls can you make the same API, the crawl API, at the same time. The one good thing about the MCP server is if it can't run more than the limit, so let's say on the hobby plan it's five, it will queue and wait until it's ready to go, then it'll resend the request. So now it's halfway and you can see right here on the do list, we're still creating the branding guide document. If you take a little peek at where we're at, it takes all the color palette of my website, my typography, all the fonts, the spacing, the layout, the logo, everything you could need. And how could you use this? Let's say you build RFPs or requests for proposals or tenders or anything that you build at scale and you want to tailor it to either your company, the company you work for, or a company you're reaching out to. These kinds of MCP server tools are amazing because you can literally apply them to any documents at scale. And if you've watched my prior video on using Claude code to create document files, you can now marry both worlds where you can take the file itself and then change the branding and the look and feel using something like this Far Call MCP. And by the way, because I'm such a super user of this platform, they gave me a special link in the description below that if you use that, will give you way more credits than the standard free tier. So now that it's finished, it's the moment of truth. So we have the branding guide, we already saw that. The content, so this is all the company overview of what my agency does. This is moi. It goes through pretty much every part of my website. And if we close that, the part that's probably interesting to you are the screenshots. So I can go on something like the homepage and you can see right here, it takes a beautiful end to end, top to bottom picture of my website, as well as the other components of my website. And this is just running one singular command. What would happen if you had multiple agents with different tasks, one crawling, one scraping and doing research, one taking screenshots and based off of that screenshot, basically executing a task or doing analysis based on whatever input is received. I'm not a big fan of using many MCP servers in general because it basically bloats your context window, but this is one of the few MCPs that I use on a recurring basis. And that's pretty much it. So I just wanted to walk you through how to use this MCP server and all the associated tools, and you can include this in whatever systems you want. For example, I use this in my own AI strategy system that I put together for my exclusive community. And it's been so helpful that people are actually closing deals, they're doing audits and strategies, just using things like Firecrawl combined with some other things to be able to look at a website, tailor the branding and apply it in a variety of scenarios. So if you found this helpful, then please let me know down in the comments below, helps the video, helps the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.